Have you ever wondered why airplanes fly 10,000 meters up in the sky and how we can actually breathe up there? At 10,000 meters, the air is extremely thin only about 25% of the air density we have at sea level. But aircraft want to fly up there. The air resistance is lower, which saves a lot of fuel and makes the flight smoother. The problem, at that altitude, humans would pass out within seconds. Not because there's no oxygen, but because the air pressure is too low for our lungs to absorb it. So the cabin is pressurized. But here's the kicker. Fresh air comes from the engines. Who'd have thought that? It's cooled down, filtered, mixed with fresh air, and then constantly replaced. Inside the cabin, pressure is kept at the equivalent of about 2.4 thousand meters. That's why I can breathe normally, even though outside the cabin, you'd be unconscious almost instantly. A small automatically controlled outflow valve constantly opens and closes to keep pressure stable. Without this balance, the pressure difference could actually damage the aircraft. If the system fails and pressure drops, oxygen masks deploy automatically, and the pilots immediately descend into a breathable altitude. It's a standard emergency procedure. So yeah, flying that high isn't magic. It's engineering, smart physics and a constant stream of compressed air that keeps you alive at 10,000 meters. Follow for more aviation insights.